everybody how are you all doing today welcome back to mama's kitchen today i'm going to be sharing my recipe for ikokore uh, this is porridge made with uh, water yam uh, but before i go into this meal i just really want to say thank you to all my subscribers i truly truly appreciate you as a matter of fact when i started i never knew that i was going to get even one subscriber but I really appreciate you that have subscribed to me. Um, if you have not, please try to do that so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. So today I'm going to show you how I make my kokore and this here uh, are the ingredients that I'm being, I'll be needing to make this delicious meal. I'm going to be using some palm oil. I'm going to be using the, this is the white yam, I mean the water yam. I'm going to be using some ground crayfish. No cube. I'm using just one bell pepper. I'm using three habanero pepper. I'm using smoked fish. You can use any smoked fish of your choice. Some people use shower, some use um, fresh titles. It doesn't matter. Just do what you like. So I'm going to be using this fish and some onions. So you ready? Let's get in the kitchen and make this. Stuff. Okay, guys, when I'm making this ikokore, um, I I used to blend sometimes, I mean grate it sometimes, but when I'm in a hurry or sometimes when I don't feel like grating it, I just chop it, you see the way I cut it into pieces and I put it in my blender and I blend. I want you to try this, this is very easy, um, but you don't have to fill up the blender and you don't need to add any water to it. So just this way and then you start blending. So guys, this is what I do with the yam. It has been grind, uh, uh, blended. Like I said before, you can grate it, but if you don't have time to grate it, there's no law staying, stating that you must have to grate it. You know, do what you can do. Do you, do some, anything that works for you. So I'm going to put um, one, one teaspoon of my grinded crayfish. And I'm gonna put um, Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. I do this to my ikokore because I want the yam to also have good taste and then you mix it up. Use your hand and mix it up. Just mix it up. Make sure the ingredients goes in. Mix everything up like this. And you put it away for the next step okay guys i'm gonna start cooking my kokore first of all i always like to pour my pepper remember the bell pepper the onions and habanero, habanero pepper i pour it in the pot like that and now i'm gonna pour in my smoked fish i'm just doing this to just cook the base you know this is just the base of it i pour in my smoked fish I pour in my salt, this is about a half spoon of um, salt. I pour in my crayfish, I told you this is about three spoons of crayfish. I'm very, very generous with crayfish when I'm making my kokore. And I'm putting my gnaw cube, I have four gnaw cubes, so that's one. I'm going to mix everything up. We're going to put about a, a cup of um, water. If you have stock, like meat stock or anything, this is when you add it. But if you don't, if you're not using meat stock. You just add a cup of water and now I'm gonna cover this and just let it cook this should take like um, I want the pepper and onions to be really cooked so I'm gonna let it cook like this for about uh, 15 minutes 
Okay, guys, this has been boiling for about 15 minutes. And it's really, really, it really, really looking nice now. And the aroma is fantastic. So at this point is where I put my oil. Um, I lack a lot of oil for my uh, water yam. So I'm going to put a spoon now and then I'll put a spoon later. Or let me just do it a spoon and a half now. And I'm still going to let this cook. Remember I said this is my style and this really turns out good for me. You know, this comes out right whenever I make it. So I'm going to cover it again for the oil to cook. This will be for another five minutes. Okay guys, I'm going to take out my fish. This is what I normally do because I don't want the yam to be... I don't want the... Let me use the other spoon. I normally take out my fish here because I don't want the, the pot to, uh, the yam to get burnt when I'm putting in the yam. So you just take out your fish and try as much as possible to take out all the um, sauce from it. Don't pour the, the, the fish and the sauce in the plate. See, I'm taking it out gently. I'm using this open spoon so that I can get rid of all the sauce. So you take as much fish as you can take. But I normally just take everything out. Take everything out. So now that the fish is out, I just put some water, not too much, just enough to cook your yam. You don't want too much water. Mix it up like this, and then you start putting in your yam gradually. Just try to make like you're frying a cara. So just place the yam like that. Okay, after putting all the yam in like that, your stove on low heat very low heat and then you cover it up and just let it cook under a very low heat so I'm checking on the yam remember I put the heat on very low you don't have to turn it as from now you don't even need the spoon anymore just use wooden spoon don't use iron spoon at this point just use your wooden spoon and just gently try to pass away for the yam. I don't want to mix it because I want some chunks in my yam. If I mix it, it will be pasty. I just want some of the yam, uh, to, uh, some of the yams to be cooked in, in little bit chunks. That's why I'm not really turning it. And remember, the, the heat is still on low, so you're gonna leave it like this. It may take like 20 minutes before it really get you get what you want. But constantly check on it to make sure it's not burning at the bottom of the pot. So guys, you can see that this is really forming into chunks. Can you see the chunks? This is the whole idea. This is what I wanted. I did not want my yam to be in paste. So that's why I've not really turned it. So now I'm going to just, you know, turn it one more time and I'm going to add uh, the fish that I took out. So you gently put back that fish. Put everything back in. Remember why I told you why I take out the fish is because... <coughs> Excuse me. Because I don't want it burnt. That's why I took out the fish. So you put it back gently like this. And for me, at this stage, I also add my oil because I told you I like extra oil for my um, my yam pot, my uh, ikokore. So I put back the the fish and whatever sauce is left. You put everything back into the pot. You give it a little toss, not just, not to, not really turning, you know, just a little, just a little, you know, so that the fish can go to the bottom too, just a little, you turn it up, and I'm going to add more oil, 
and if also light can add more water if you want to watery um ikokore because the jebus actually use it to eat eba so they want it like you know very liquidy so if you want to do that you add more water at this stage if you want it really hard you leave it like this i like it like this because i don't eat it with eba so i'm gonna add my oil now remember this is not necessary it's because I love oil in my uh, kokore. So I'll just add a little bit of oil on top. You know, just to give it that oily um, appearance. I like oil in my kokore. I like it to be very oily. So, you do that and then you open it up a little bit. And now I'm really going to give this oil time to cook with the Kokore. So once I did, I, 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 I've done this, you pat it with your wooden spoon and trust me all the fish is already mixed in so don't worry about the fish not being mixed. Everything is already in. And you see that's why I, I've always season my Kokore before I put everything so that it will be tasty, the yam will be tasty on its own. Um, when you finish cooking it. So I'm just gonna leave this to cook for about another 10 minutes. And remember the, the, the light or the stove is on low. Keep it on low, you don't want it burnt. So I'm gonna leave this for another five to 10 minutes. I'll come back to it. And so guys, this is after about seven minutes and my cockroach right is all ready. It's ready, now you can turn it any way you like because the yam is already um, has some lumps like I wanted to so I can all you can just turn it any way you like at this point like I said some people use it to the jebus eat, use it to eat um, gari they make it and eat it so they they like to make it um, very very watery but uh, this is the way I like eating mine and this is how it cooperates me I'm gonna serve it and you see it this is the kokore in And so guys, this is the kokore in my plate. I am just going to sit down now and eat this. This is so delicious. I challenge you to try this recipe. It's really, really good. It came out nice, always nice if I make it. If you follow the steps, you'll get it this way. And for um, for the oil, you know, I told you I love a lot of oil. So if you don't want oil, then you may not put the You don't have to put the oil the second time. But because I love it with oil, I always put it towards the end of the cooking. And this is always nice. Thank you so much for watching me today. Have a great day. And a